What's up everyone, I'm your host Frigio Phoenix, and welcome back to more Mario 64. You might have noticed that my star count hasn't gone up between parts, that's because my game crashed. And therefore, I just decided, well, I'll, do, I'll deal with it later. So let's go to Jolly Roger Bay, which has some of the best music in the game, in my opinion, which is a totally original opinion, no one else has had that before. No, this is actually a really like popular track, but because it's so good. So, what we gotta do here is we gotta get the eel to come out of this sunken ship. But the thing is, is that I don't really know what gets him to leave. So, I usually just kind of get close to him and then swim up here, but I actually don't know what's a trigger. So, I'll come up here and wait around for a second. Let a few the the hazards come come crashing down here. And it should be good. And there's an example of uh, healing up when you hit the water. So, okay, yeah, okay, he is set off. I couldn't see him, so I didn't know. But yeah, if anyone knows the actual trigger, then please post it in the comments. So what we gotta do here is we gotta hit these chests in a certain order. Hmm, that's uh, not, not the order, obviously. So I don't remember the order off the top of my head. Um, but... Provided we get one right, then we get a bubble, and you can heal up there. Alright, so is it this one? I mean, there's only the four, so it can't be that hard to figure out. Okay, perfect. Alright, so what I generally do here is you're supposed to scale the ship, but if you are quick, you can get almost to the top before the water is gone. As a kid, I used to think you had to wait on the bottom for some reason, and then scale it, which, you know, it's not that hard to scale it, it's just kind of annoying. And with that, we got a star. And I'll quickly get a drink of water. There we go. Alright, let's go back in. And by the way, I haven't talked to any of the toads yet, um, but there are none on this floor to what I can remember that give you any stars or anything. It's not much of a point, they just kind of give you a little bit of story info, a little bit of uh, tips. So, what? okay, can the eel come out to play? So this one is on our quick one. So the eel is now hiding out in one of these caves, and the eel, for a lot of people, is absolute nightmare fuel. At least, at least when we were all young playing this game. I never found them to be too bad, personally. Uh, but I was also playing stuff like Resident Evil 2, like, not long after I started playing this, so... You know. That game has one point in particular that makes me jump still. But uh, I'll be doing Let's Play that eventually. Alright, there we go. Another star down quickly. Uh, maybe when I get to 20 stars and go deal with Bowser. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Yeah, this one's in the... This one's essentially like what we just did in the ship. But instead, uh, you just have to do the puzzle, and then you get the star. So that's in the little cave area that we kind of hung out in for a second. Now that star there, uh, you you should have the metal cap to get it, or or is it a shell you need? Hmm, I think it's a metal cap. Um, but. I, there is a way to kind of like get the right angle and then you just get, you just swim as fast as you can and you can get in, but I've never been able to do it myself. Uh, watch any speedrun of the game though and someone who's actually skilled 
at playing video games, and you'll see it. Alright, one... Was it this one? That one? And that one, and that one. There we go, piece of cake. So, I guess I'll go deal with Bowser now. Like, I could do more of this course, and I probably will after. But, um, I don't know. 20 stars seems like a good point to go deal with Bowser. So, there's two stars in each Bowser level. Sorry, 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 let me correct that. There's one star in each Bowser level and a key. And what the key does is uh, you unlock new sections of the castle with it. Uh, that doesn't count as a star. But uh, you do get a star from collecting all the red coins in a Bowser level. So I will be doing that. I will be collecting the red coins in this level. Uh, just because I know where they are. I'll probably collect them in all the Bowser levels. But I truthfully don't quite remember where all of them are in the later ones. Okay. You're given ample time to do that. Didn't think it was going to make that jump. Or at least not without getting hurt. Alright. I actually don't know the point of that slide there. I guess it's for if you miss. Like that. But. I don't know. It doesn't really. It doesn't serve any purpose of being a threat. I always really like the, the music in these Bowser levels. I, I'd like the uh, Mario Galaxy renditions more, but uh, they're always really cool to me. I think that's just coins, yep. Ooh. I thought that maybe I could like just grab the ledge there, but it didn't happen. Alright, let's uh, just quickly run through that again. Alright, get that one. Alright, so... <laughs> this is how we, we address the, the elephant in the room. Sometimes turning isn't... Well, you can't really turn that easily like you can, uh, but it's very easy to have him turn in an arc instead, and it feels very natural to do so. You know, <laughs> that was me. That was all on me. That time. I, you know, I d didn't time it at all, just kind of ran in. But yeah, he likes to turn in arc sometimes. And uh, when he does, it is a pain. Because it's almost always when you're on a small platform like this. <sighs> and that's the thing with the... Uh, I'm not getting a game over. I am not getting a game over. I have no idea what's going on here. I don't know why I'm so off my game. Like, I suck at games in general. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, if you're watching this channel, you're... You're not getting very good game advice. You're, you're just getting someone who kind of dicks around and figures it out as it goes along. Um, but, yeah, we got a game over. I suck at <laughs> almost all types of games except for, like, RTSs and some RPGs, so I'm not even a fan of RPGs. So, you know, that's just how it be sometimes. Um, but, you know, that's, that's, that's how it be. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is, we'll continue this next part. And, hopefully, I'll actually finish Bowser. And so, I'll see you guys next part. Enjoy.